Outside a church in suburban Toronto, they wait to be tested at a COVID-19 pop-up site. I've had a sore throat for about two weeks now. Uh, we just figured it's better to you know, get tested. Ontario is stepping up testing, going into neighbourhoods that are COVID hotspots. If you don't do it, you're, I think you're just being stupid, to be honest. The number of daily reported COVID cases dipped below 300 last week. It's been rising ever since. This is the second day of more than 400 new cases. We're in a thousand times better shape. We're Ontario's better Premier shape. doesn't oh, sound oh, discouraged, oh, citing oh, more oh, testing oh, for the oh, rising oh, cases. So the, the more you test... Um, you're, you're, you are going to get a little more bump. You're, you're testing 20,000 people compared to 10. There's 10,000 more people that may have a chance of having COVID. It's just simple math. Yet the state of emergency remains until the end of June, a sign Ontario is still struggling. With a decline in cases in Quebec now, it really leaves Ontario as a bit of an outlier, as a place that's been unable to get off the plateau. And we clearly need to do things differently here. Indeed, hundreds of cases that tested positive from this testing site were never counted and followed up on. Ontario's main health agency blames a communications breakdown. Officials are now scrambling to track down potentially thousands of contacts of those missed cases. But is Ontario's contact tracing up for that extra caseload? I have very little confidence that we have a robust system for contact tracing to any degree. And I think without that, it's highly unlikely that we will make progress in terms of uh, being able to open up the economy or the health care to non-COVID illness. And yet the Ontario government insists it's prepared to move ahead with more reopenings when the time is right. Vicodopia, CBC News, Toronto.